Hi, I'm Melissa Vance with the Wayne County Area Chamber of Commerce, and I am excited to welcome you to Chamber Chat. We are going to be talking to our friends from the Cordial Cork, as well as talking with our Awards, Celebrations, and Events Committee member, Tracy Robinson, and we'll be talking all about great things happening around Wayne County. Thanks for tuning in. So my first guest today is Adam Melton. Welcome, Adam. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you being here and um, excited to highlight your entrepreneurship with your new business, Cordial Cork. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, we, uh, we're we almost a year into, uh, into opening up the Cordial Cork. We just opened up last March. Um, it's uh, Things are going great. It's, it's so fun to be doing this. Um, of course, we, we, we have the Cordial Cork and Lisa Cakes, right. so we're a wine bar and cake shop. Um, I, I think I can officially call ourselves a restaurant now. It took me a while yes. to, to kind of let that out, but, uh, but we, are, we are definitely a restaurant with some really fabulous food. Absolutely. So, so you all are located in the depot district. Yes, we right are. Right across from the depot, actually. Right, absolutely. If, uh, if you're familiar with the old uh, Joe's Pizza mm -hmm. place, we're in that building. Uh, it looks totally different now. We've completely redone the inside and uh, really restored a lot of it to the its, its original 1800s look. It's um, beautiful. It's, it's absolutely yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it really is. And of course, you used one of our other chamber members to do a lot of that work with Whitewater Construction. Oh yes, absolutely. Whitewater Construction did a lot of that. Uh, a, b a beautiful bar um, that they built, very unique. Uh, the everything uh, everything works great, looks great. It's it's just wonderful. It's a fun place to walk into, and like you said, it's almost like stepping back into time. And right. Just yeah. imagining what it used to be back in the day. Yeah, we have we have two star pianos in there. One of them is a 1901. Uh, the other one is a functioning 1897 uh, piano that we still do live performances on. It's amazing. Um, it really is a step back into time. It's really fun. Now, how often do you have live performances in your location? We, I would say on average, we have live performances at least every other weekend. Um, you know, in the fall and, uh, and winter time, we, we go a little heavier almost every weekend. Right. Um, sometimes we do a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night here mm -hmm. or there, so. It's a lot of fun. So if people want to see exactly what's going on with quarter cork and what your lineup might be they can visit your website yes or, your or on page. our facebook page uh, we always have our events calendar there um you know they can uh, we're also on instagram too mm -hmm. they can go and see all the beautiful pictures of our the different food that we have and and all that it is absolutely delicious thank you your <laughs> chef and and team that they do an amazing job with the food yes. love to come over there and eat dinner it's it's absolutely delicious. They really do, and we we do we try to change it up a little bit mm -hmm. because we you know we do a lot of the uh, locally sourcing. Um, so you know, depending on what season certain fruits or vegetables or mm -hmm. things are in, we try to do uh, we try to do seasonal options. Uh, we do like a taco trio for Cinco de Mayo. Uh, we did a uh, a Thanksgiving meal with turkey and uh, risotto stuffing. Mm -hmm. It's it's just a lot of fun. There's always something new there. Now, with a name like Cordial Cork, of course, there's wine. Absolutely, yes. So we have, we, we have wine and beer. Um, we have over 100 different options. Now, we're a lot heavier on the wine end. Right. Uh, we have about 16 options of beer uh, by the, on tap and by the bottle, mm -hmm. um, but over 80 different options of wine from all over the world. We have local wines, sweet wines, dry wines, port, uh, wines you've never heard of, anything that you could possibly right. want. Yeah, it's lots of fun. And your team is very good at 
making suggestions on pairings or recommending a certain wine Absolutely. based on what your likes and dislikes are or yes. a beer. And our, our staff, of course, they, uh, they're, they're very well versed in, in everything that we have to offer. Uh, so if you come in and, and have a favorite wine and we don't happen to have that, they'll know, uh, you know what your general likes and dislikes are. So they'll, right. uh, they'll steer you in the right direction. And our, even our food menu, um, after every food item on the menu, we have at least three wines listed right below it that it pairs well with. Um, because as you might know, the, when you pair food with the perfect wine, it just exponentially makes everything that much better. Right. So, yeah. Yep. And just because this is um, a beer and wine bar doesn't mean that it's not family friendly. Families Absolutely. are welcome. Yes. Right? Yeah. We, we even have a kid's menu. Kids eat free on Wednesdays. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so there is a 21 and up area, as you see in some uh, other places. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, we are very family friendly. We have kids spaghetti and chicken tenders and there all kinds go. of things. It's, it's very, very unique. And what kid, young or old, would not like Lisa Cakes, right? Exactly, yeah. So Lisa Cakes, is uh, she's our in-house bakery. Um, and she makes all kinds of uh, wonderful cakes that she calls happy cakes. Uh, so some of those might be cheesecake uh, with you know your traditional cake included right. in it. She does cupcakes and mini cupcakes, and she also does custom cakes for all kinds of events. Um, she's you know obviously she's done weddings, um, uh, a lot of the uh, big events that go on around town, um, right. reveal cakes, everything that you can think of. She is so talented. Um, I just, I love when I go somewhere and I know that her cakes are being served because not only are they going to be beautiful, but they are going to taste amazing. Absolutely, yeah, and she uh, she does the same thing with her des uh, with her dessert menu as we do with our, our menu. She okay. does certain things seasonally, so, um, you know, she's she's got a lot of the warm stuff in the fall and a lot of the fresh stuff in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we recently just added French pressed uh, coffee that's, uh, it's our own blend oh, nice. created by Roscoe's. And what goes better with desserts than coffee, if right. not wine already, so. And everybody loves Roscoe's. Yes, absolutely. Your neighbor right there yes. in the depot. Yep. yep. So when you were looking at locations and thinking about where you wanted to be mm -hmm. for your restaurant, what made you pick the Depot District? Uh, I just, I, I guess I've got um, an old soul, first of all, mm -hmm. so I really love um, the old, uh, and I don't, I don't mean old in a, in a bad way, um, the, uh, the old way, the nostalgia way of doing yeah. things and the way things look. Um, you know, I, I went through nine, no, I'm sorry, I went through ten buildings mm -hmm. before I found the one that I wanted. Nine of those were in the depot. Yeah. There was only one that I even considered that wasn't in the depot because this is really where I wanted to be. Um, and, and it worked out great. And I love everybody down there, all the business owners are, uh, it really is mm -hmm. like a family down there. So. Well, the neat thing about the Depot District, as probably all of our listeners know, is that when somebody asks a local, where should you go for food or entertainment, um, that's one of the first places they think of in Richmond. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the local hub. Right, right. You know, for evening, evening life. So you being down there, it's a perfect fit easy to get to. You've got a parking lot right across the street, right. parking yep. on street. Um, it's it's just a great place to be. Yeah, it really is. Uh, and we're excited about uh, some of the new projects that are coming along. And um, we're, we're also making to look, uh, do some do some changes here in the next new year um, to kind of go along with a couple of those projects. I don't okay. want to say too much right now, but we're working on quite a few things. We'll be on the lookout for some of those announcements when the time is right. Yeah. But it's been a pleasure for the chamber to be able to celebrate with you from the ribbon cutting opening to having a chamber network night there. Um, and then just stopping in periodically and having you with us during the Taste of Wayne County this year. Oh, that was lots of fun. That lots was, of fun. It's been fun to work with you already in just these few months that you've been open. We're, we're excited to 
have you in the community and look for new ways to partner in the coming year. Yeah, absolutely. We, we love to be out in the community. Um, we love to do as many uh, events as we possibly can. There's some sometimes where we might be three different places in one night, but if we can do it, we'll do it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with me, Adam, and um, thank you for investing in Wayne County. Yes, thank we, you. We appreciate it, and we're looking forward to those new announcements coming up in the next few months. Yep, stay tuned. All right. <laughs> well, now we are going to turn it over to Ed the Reindeer for a few announcements about an upcoming festival. So I will let him tell you more about that. Here he is. Oh my God, Penguin, the Meltdown is coming to town. The Meltdown, is that another one of your silly reindeer games? No, it's like, it's like a party, but with like ice fights and everything. Oh, you mean the Meltdown Winter Ice Festival? You silly reindeer. Even with your bright, shiny noses, you're still not that bright. <laughs> so wait, wait. So what is the Meltdown Festival? Uh, it's the coolest festival in Richmond, and it takes place January 25th through the 27th at Jack Elster Plaza near downtown Richmond and the Depot District. Here are a few highlights. On Thursday, we'll have ch Chili for Charity at the Morrison Reeves Library. Warm up before a cool weekend with Chili for a Cause. Community organizations will pull out their best recipes for this friendly competition, supporting the good work of our community's nonprofits. And Friday until Sunday, we'll have the inner interactive play zone. Play games made of ice. Take photos with sculptures and take in the magical creations made by world-class carvers. Then the ice fights kick off with the big reveal on Friday night at 7.30. Watch as ice flies and world-class carvers work together to create massive melting artwork before a hyped up crowd. And then on Saturday we've got the meltdown throwdown. The battle is on. Will team fire or team ice prevail? Watch the ice fly as world-class carvers imagine and deliver on amazing sculptures in a battle where you decide who wins. And lots going on the whole week from pub crawls to coloring contests, Lego competitions, warming stations, live concerts, and so much more. That sounds awesome. I'm so excited. I'm snow excited. <laughs> And welcome back. Thank you, Ed and Caitlin, for that very entertaining segment. Now it's my pleasure to have with me Tracy Robinson from our Awards, Celebrations, and Events Committee. Welcome, Hi, Tracy. Thank you. I think most people in the community know you by now because you have been involved for such a long time. But tell everyone who you are and what you do. Okay, I'm Tracy Robinson and I am a realtor here in town with Better Homes and Gardens First Realty Group and have been doing that for a very long time and have served on various committees at the chamber over the years. As well as we might say serving on the board and being chair of the board at one point. Yes. A few years ago. A little bit ago. So you've been very involved in the chamber for such a long time and I just want to say, first of all, thank you for all of the effort and um, hours that you've dedicated to working with the Chamber on behalf of the community. It's been great. Well, I've enjoyed it very much. We, um, of course, enjoy you now on our, what we affectionately call our ACES Committee, um, which is our events committee. Right. And my goodness, this group does a lot of stuff. We are busy, for sure. We kind of affectionately call the committee the party committee. Mm -hmm. The fun committee. Um, <laughs> but there is a lot of work that goes into pulling the different events together behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. A lot of hours of many times just assembling things and right. getting some of that 
planning done? Plenty of behind the scenes work that when uh, people show up at events, it's like, wonder who did that? Mm -hmm. Right. That would be the ACES committee. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, there is no way that the events that we do on the scale that we do them would be possible at all without a large group of volunteers. Right. And having about a hundred volunteers and all across our committees through the chamber, there's you know probably a fourth of them on mm -hmm. the ACES committee, probably, which is really important. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of us. And recently, over the last few months, we've been really busy celebrating some fun um, organizations, some, some really mm -hmm. neat projects around the community, starting with the Community Improvement Awards. Yes, yes. So that takes place in September, and tell, tell us a little bit about what that event is for. Well, that's a great opportunity for us to recognize businesses that have done something to the exterior of their business, uh, whether it be a new build or somebody has refurbished or remodeled, and we focus on the outside of how it has enhanced either the building itself or even maybe just the area or the block. It's all about beautification Absolutely. in this, in mm -hmm. this instance. Mm -hmm. But it amazes me every single year how many projects there actually are. Right. I think this year we had 16? I think so. Something like that um, around the county. And mm -hmm. again, we don't just focus on Richmond. It's right. anywhere in Wayne County. Absolutely. And there's a lot that goes into uh, the nomination process mm -hmm. and then the scoring process. There's a committee that goes out and um, on a Saturday when nobody is expecting <laughs> it, just drives around and and does some scoring and right. um, pulls together the actual award winners, mm -hmm. although everyone gets recognized. Yes, and that's the great thing about it, to where it, there's not just a winner or two winners. Everyone gets recognized that day at the luncheon. Um, and, and their projects get time dedicated to right. it, which is pretty, mm -hmm. pretty neat. Of course, there's always a theme to everything we do, and that it's no different. We did travel Wayne County this right. year, which was a lot of fun. Um, and then we moved right into Taste of Wayne County, just, what, three, three mm -hmm. weeks later. Right I think away. we're crazy sometimes. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe that's why we're all on this committee together. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> but that one is at the fairgrounds now mm -hmm. and in the Tom Raper Center, Yes, which if anybody has been in there when it's empty, that is an enormous space. It is, yes. But it really fills up that night. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So talk about what that looks like. The taste has restaurants. Yes, and um, nonprofits. Mm -hmm. And then businesses have the opportunity for the Business Expo now, which kind of ties everything together really nicely to have uh, the community represented by so many mm -hmm. different businesses and entities that we can recognize um, and be there to promote either their business or their nonprofit. It is a neat way to recognize chamber members mm -hmm. and give them a way to share their services regardless of what that is. Right. Whether it's a nonprofit service, a for profit service mm -hmm. or or a product. Right. Or food. Yes. We all enjoy that part yes, of it. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And so people buy a ticket, they get to come in, they get to eat from all of the restaurants and we had ten restaurants plus mm -hmm. the Cordra Court this yes. year. Yes. And Lisa Cakes, which we got to talk to um, Adam in the first segment, uh -huh. but um, it's just a lot of fun. We had about 525 people this a year. A good turnout. So we also do awards for the favorite entree and the mm -hmm. favorite dessert. Mm -hmm. And this year, the favorite dessert was Lisa Cakes. Yes. So um, we got to go present Lisa with an award kind of shouting out that she was the public favorite. We don't choose that. Right. The the attendees do. Who doesn't like cupcakes, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious. And then, I don't know how many years in a row, Gallo has 
won, but Gallows won the award again this year for um, the favorite entree. Right. It's hey, always dude. outstanding. The food is delicious. He brings an ice sculpture every year. Mm -hmm. It just is a is great something present. special. Mm -hmm. Great presentation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So another thing that we do often throughout the year is ribbon cuttings. Yes. Um, what, what are some of the favorite places that you can think of that we've been this year? We've been to several places. Oh, wow. Um, we have, um, trying to remember where all we've been. We've been well, to, we went to Cordial Court. We went to Cordial Court. We talked about that earlier. Uh, we did. Um, we, uh, let's see, what else have we done? We've had our most recent one that we just did. Richmond. Uh, the Richmond, uh -huh, renovate, yes. The, the neighborhood. Uh, neighborhood um, restoration. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. And I think we just put the picture up for that, but what a fun night that was. People were dressed in their hats yes. and attire. In the and the time period of the house. Mm -hmm. What a neat house. Yes, beautiful. Yes. To be able to restore a home like that in a historic neighborhood and to get to show that off, I'm, I'm excited to see who ends up buying that right. place and what they do with it. I think it will sell with pretty it. quickly, yes. It has a lot of neat features to it that we don't see in modern housing anymore that is very unique to that time period. Right. So very interesting and beautiful home. It's special to get to celebrate the different things that are happening, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, a residential renovation like that one right. or the Christmas festival. Mm -hmm. We always do a ribbon cutting at that. Yes, that's coming recently. Mm -hmm. um, and then the businesses that are making investments right. in our community. Right. It's pretty special. It is fun to see them beginning and starting out and to kind of open the doors for them. And it's it's really neat for them too to have a really nice group from the chamber, be it board members or ACES mm -hmm. committee members there to help celebrate those right. moments with them. Mm -hmm. It means a lot that people like you show up and just say thank you mm -hmm. and congratulations. Right. And then we have this little event that happens in January <laughs> and is right around the corner. Coming quickly. Called the yes. annual dinner. Yes. Um, this year it is on January 18th and we will be at the Coleman Center again with a theme, A Million Dreams. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone can guess what their favorite movie um, shouts a million dreams, but we'll be doing a little different take on that theme. Yes. Than maybe what people expect, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be special. It will be. I think one of the most fun things that we do as the ACES committee is when we walk into uh, the Coleman Center and we see this big empty building and then we transform it. By the time we walk out, Friday before the dinner, it's so fun to see the transformation of all the volunteers that help put that together. It really is. Mm -hmm. From things hanging from the ceiling, the lighting, the decor around the mm -hmm. room, um, the banners, the tables, filling that space. Right. When you put 600 people seated in that space mm -hmm. with a stage, it is a really full room, but it it's so neat. It is. And my favorite place to be is to stand right inside the door so when people walk into the main area, mm -hmm. getting to watch their faces light up when they look around, that's the most rewarding thing for me, I think. I think after they've been coming year after year, they're always curious to see what it right. looks like this year. Right. So, mm -hmm. And we're probably not going to give any clues today. No. They'll have to come and check that out. Absolutely. But... The best thing that we do at that evening is we recognize so many businesses and mm -hmm. individuals that have contributed to the community right. through the awards. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about some of those um, categories. Uh, we recognize uh, large business of the year, um, also small business of the year. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, teachers, we recognize um, uh, 
Educators. Professional, an educator of the yeah. year, um, sometimes a um, either medical or a um, emergency professional of mm -hmm. the year, um, volunteers of the year, right? Um, all new businesses, just all kinds of different categories that um, we we hit on yeah. so many different categories, as well as individuals. You know what used to be, I think, citizen of the year, and now is the Art Vivian, right? Um, distinguished community leader. Mm -hmm. And it's special to see them and hear about everything that they've done right. over the years. Some, so. some things are behind the scenes that people do, and it's a great time right. to recognize them. Well, this year is not going to be any different um, than all of the other years that people may have attended the annual dinner and been pleasantly surprised and enjoyed the evening of celebration. And we invite you to join us again on January 18th at the Coleman Center. And you can visit our website, wcareachamber.org for all of the details and to get your tickets. We encourage you to get your tickets early because this does sell out. It is a must attend event and it is a special fundraiser for the chamber and helps us do all the things that we do throughout the year. So thank you, Tracy, for being with me. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today. We we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Chamber Chat.